What happens when you die? <laughs> I love that laugh. Why, why are you making me die? Why don't you ask that question? What happens yourself? when What happens when I die? <laughs> so, Guru, please, some, please. some things you know best only by experience. Sure, you want me to die right here, right now, and come back because and tell you us. Want to experience this it. will get a lot of views. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> and I won't do it. Uh, but seriously, do, do so you you based on what you just said? Technically, you don't have a belief on what happens when you die, but surely. You think some? I, ju I have just this year, in the month of February, I published a book called Death, which is on a top seller selling list for the last ten months, continuously. Hmm. The book is titled as Death: An Inside Story. It's only for those who shall die. That's that's going to be marketing. that's going to be well. It's the, how could they Everyone read it? Like this book is for me. 100%. Of course. And <laughs> great marketer. <subject. laughs> what happens when I die? Am I, well, I well maybe not me, but well, like, does one go to heaven? Well, which heaven you want to go? Because every religion has their own heaven. This is where it gets tricky. Now, now, See, now you've lost I'll me. Tell I, you, because I, you do not know what is in the heaven. Let me describe it to you. Uh. In the Hindu heaven, food is very good. If you're a foodie, that's where you must go. In the other heaven, there are, uh, you know, long uh, white gowned ladies floating in the sky. You like that means, you go there. That one's Mike's. I like food. In another place, <laughs> in another place, you'll encounter virgin problems. If that's what you're looking for, you go there. But, what do you have to do to go there? You got to die first. That's an important thing. When you die, depending on your culture, we will either bury you, burn you, cut you and throw you to the birds, do something with your body. Because this body is a piece of this planet. When your job is done, you must put it back. If you have not done anything eco-friendly, at least this much you must do, put the damn body back. Some people are talking about going to Mars with it. All right? <laughs> You must put it back, that is one sensible thing to do. I am telling everybody in the United States, I know I will become very unpopular. Why are you wasting cutting a tree when a man dies? At least plant a tree here, because you make good manure. Have you seen those, uh, have you seen those sacks? <laughs> have you seen, seriously? Yes, I know. There's, there's these sacks you can place your body in and a tree will grow I out know of it. You don't need a sack also. In India, we just wrap them in a cloth with salt and everything and we put them there and plant a tree. It, right. it, I got to ask you, is Mars out of play? Like in, in the way of th that you seek? I, why, how can I ask this question properly? Like if I get buried on Mars, mm -hmm. it, is Mars are, out of play? Your body material, unless you want to be exported to another planet, you're, this material you picked up from this planet, when your job is done, it's best to give it back because it's just a loan. Well, some girls mother, that, some no, no, gr mother Earth gave you this body thinking that you will use it for your well being and put it back when your job is done. You want to steal it and run away somewhere. Well, some girl at Whole Foods once told me that I was just made of stardust. She was very convincing of it. She said, We're all just stardust. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're wrong. Wait, I, I guess what I'm getting at is this like, I, no, I, let's, let's finish this. Okay. So, uh, these are all different offerings in the heaven. Sure. But the, this thing is you must die first. When you die, we put your body here no matter what. In which form we put it, we put it somewhere. Either in a sack or a box or whatever, we put it here. So you went to heaven and you don't have a body. Now what do you do with good food and virgins, I'm asking? Oh, if you have no body, how could you take advantage of the good food and the virgins? No, yes. it's just like you're, it's like spirit food. Well, well, here's why this is tricky because say <laughs> say you die at a very young age. Seriously, this is where I get confused. What goes to heaven? Your soul? Great. Is your soul? Is it? Is Which your soul, right or left? <laughs> the left soul on my shoe. <laughs> the, is it the soul? Say, say, unfortunate. Something unfortunate happens. A five year old dies. Does the five? Does the soul of the five year old go? To heaven or hell, see, as a five as a five year old soul, the, does it go as the soul see, the at the age you is, passed there away? Is no, there is no line between what you know and do not know. That's why all this confusion. Right now, you do not know the nature of your existence, but you're talking about a soul because somebody told you so. I'm not questioning whether it's true or not. Hmm. All I am saying is, you do not know. Hello, I have no somebody idea. may be something may be true, but you do not know.
That's the important thing. Because unless it comes into your experience, it's not there, isn't it? See, right now, if I close my eyes and sit here and doze off, all these people don't exist because they're not in my experience, isn't it so? It's only what is in your experience which is true for you, rest you're just assuming. If you concretize your assumptions, that's called belief. I, I, are you afraid of dying? <laughs> Do I look like that? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're a person who loves life. Uh, see, life is not my decision, life has happened to me, okay? Mm. If we were able to cause life, that's different, we didn't cause it. Something much bigger than us caused life for us. Now, it's your business to see that it happens at the highest point. Because you've been given an intelligence, you've been given a capability, you must see it happens at the highest point. When I say highest point, not in a social context, but within you, you must be at your peak. Otherwise, you're a wasted life. <laughs>